I'm Mitch Hagan. As Governor Scott Walker is back in Wisconsin taking on some more controversial issues, we'll get to those as the week unfolds. But first, a look back at his appearance at the Freedom Summit last Saturday in Des Moines. He was appearing along with about 11 other presidential hopefuls for the Republican nomination in 2016. Walker made his mark on the largely Tea Party Republican audience. He had no jacket, sleeves rolled up. He talked about his pro-life record, cracking down on Planned Parenthood. He is, after all, a preacher's son. He talked about the personal threats against himself and his family during the protests of 2011. A friend of mine was shooting that for a television station in Madison and said people were walking out of the hall saying, I didn't know all that. Well, he's introducing himself to the Iowa crowd. He's, he's a Midwest governor from a state of Wisconsin that has not elected a Republican presidential candidate since 1984 when Ronald Reagan won when Scott Walker was in high school. Impressive resume for him. One thing, though, I noticed in his speech, and I noticed this in his election night speech, too, which was played for the networks, uh, he said, you know, there's a reason why Americans celebrate the 4th of July and not April 15th tax day. And I thought back when I heard that before, it was 1980, Ronald Reagan was running for president. I was in Lafayette, Indiana, and the Lafayette Jefferson High School a cappella choir. We were the entertainment for the night at the Lincoln Day dinner at the Purdue Memorial Union. There was Governor Reagan giving a stump speech, and he said there's a reason why Americans celebrate July 4th and not April 15th. Now, when the governor does it, he doesn't always give attribution. I'm not saying he hasn't at some point, but election night he did not, and he didn't do it at Iowa. I could just see someday somebody taking verbatim the governor saying that next to Ronald Reagan saying that and having it be a bad news day. It's not quite like Joe Biden stealing Neil Kinnock's speech in 1988, the British Labor uh, Party leader, or even the accusations against Mary Burke for having a campaign steal whole passages from other candidates' economic plan. But no, it could be a bad news day. So a word to the wise, Governor. When you say there's a reason why Americans celebrate July 4th and April 15th, make sure you give a plug to the Gipper. My two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants Bill McCashin. He's a lobbyist who can get things done. He can get things passed or pass a referendum. Call Bill at Capital Consultants. See you next time.